So in today's video, I'm going to be going over the practice tool, which is now live even on North America, and just really quickly showing you what the sidebar does. Even though this probably is already explained, you might already know, this is what it looks like in-game. It comes up on the side, and it allows you to do different things when you press them, it toggles them. For example, if you hit the cooldown button and you have that on auto-refresh, it means you can infinitely use your cooldowns, like example, flash. And there's three kind of menus. There's the menus for your own characters, so like cooldowns, auto refresh in your HP, mana, stuff like that, adding gold. If you want to level up your character, you want to lock your character at a certain level so you can practice what your damage is at, at that level. Um, you can buy up to like 10, 100,000 gold. Then there's towers, tower fire, minion. You can toggle those on to invincible and not invincible. You have teleport, so as you see, and it's instantaneous. So we just went just from the fountain straight to where we teleported to. No time lost at all. But in lane, you can maybe make the towers invincible if you don't want something to push too fast, you want to just CS a bit, you don't want the other lanes to kind of push in and take something. You can fast forward a couple seconds if you want to as well, if you want to kind of simulate a real game. And then, the part that probably most people know about are the training dummies. There's enemy dummies, allied dummies, and then you can clear whatever target dummies you have. I believe if I remember correctly, you can have four on each side max, and your minions will attack enemy ones just like the enemy minions will attack allied ones. Finally, there's jungle camps, in which case you can spawn whatever dragons you want. So if you have a certain build you want to try, with say three Inferno Drakes, you can. And then finally, you can reset the game. Reset it back to zero. Now, for example here, let's go back to the base. Teleport, which is very fast in the recalling. And let's say we try Lethality Jinx right now. We just build all the Lethality items on Jinx and an extra straight of Dirk just for the kicks. Because that's the new hotness right now. Um, and then we'll go back to lane, and then we can like see, for example, okay, how much damage does that do at a certain level, or if you want to lock it at a level, or we want to just max it out at level 18. And then we can just try picking off minions that way. And the thing about this is, you're not set at a certain amount of gold either, just on a side note, so if you buy up to 100,000 gold, and you want to sell your items, you can just get more gold as well too, in case you didn't know that. Um, so you can sell your items for as much as you want, try as many different builds you want. And for this example, like I said, we'll just see what like Lethality Jinx looks like, because we have no real reason to ever try that in a real game, but it's a practice game, so we can see how much damage it does. I'll go to level 18 and everything. By habit, I place a ward in the brush, but... Okay, that's quite a bit of damage. Um, obviously, you could probably no one's going to play Zap Max Jinx and make use of this, because that's really all of your damage, but at the same time, you know, this is an example of what you can do. You can try that out. Another example we could try is just looking at, again, full lethality, but on Vi this time, because that's also the, the new hotness. It's, it's just, if you are if you have any AD ratio whatsoever, you build lethality. But in this case, we're testing out flashing while using Vi's ult. Just simple stuff like that, that's something that you can test out in this mode. You have the training dummies, they regenerate their health, so you don't have to worry about destroying them and spawning more of them. And you can kind of make the game last as long as you need it to last to be able to do whatever it is that you want to do. So that's all for this video. If you have any more questions about the practice tool in general, this was just to kind of give you a visual of what it does and what the kind of things you can do in it. If you want more in-depth answers or have questions like that, feel free to leave it down in the comment section below as well as like, comment, and subscribe as well. You can follow me on Twitter. We hit a thousand followers over there at the FS. But that's all for this video. So thank you so much for watching this video if you did. I don't know which video will be next because life can be quite a mess. So until next time, take care from the FireGridEyeFS.